Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're in Englewood Cliffs today at the trendy new Lefke's restaurant, talking to violin virtuoso and New Jersey resident, Miri Ben-Ari. Miri has made a huge name for herself as an accompanist and producer in contemporary popular music, most with rap and hip hop acts, which gave rise to her moniker, the hip hop violinist. She managed to take her classical training and turn it on its head to become one of the most successful crossover musicians of the 21st century. Over the years, she's worked with an impressive array of artists and celebrities, played at the White House, and has appeared in television and stages around the world. She's here with us now to tell us about her career highlights and the universality of music. So Mir, you come all the way from Israel to New Jersey. Tell me about your career. (laughs) Tell me about this. Well, I grew up in Israel. I grew up playing violin, classical violin music. Uh I grew up in Israel as a child, and I was very, very serious about my classical violin. And then I had a dream of making something special with it, non-classical. Um, winning a competition, a classical competition in Israel, brought me to America. I fell in love with American music. And I got here after my military service. I came here to pursue my dream of music. I went to jazz school. Uh, I learned how to improvise, how to write my own music. And from that, um, my journey has begun as something completely different than anything I ever dreamed of. Tell me some of the artists you've worked with. Uh, Very long list. I was discovered by Wyclef John and Jay-Z and Kanye West. Um, They uh, call me the hip-hop violinist. I started the hip-hop violinist trend, which is now very, very big, and I'm very proud to see so many of them taking my path and my footsteps and making uh, the violin something different than only classical. Just think outside of the box. I work with so many people. I work with Armin van Buren in trance music, EDM. Um, I produced um, and and recorded a lot of Kanye West stuff. Um, His first album, which I won a Grammy for, Jesus Walks. Uh, I work with Janet Jackson, Britney Spears, Maroon 5, uh, John Legend. I had a song actually go to number one in Africa this summer with Diamond Platinums. And you think like all the way from Africa to a studio in New Jersey, how do they make this happen, you know? I work as a producer, I work with producers in Africa, and we produce together and bam, it comes out in Africa and becomes a hit. So the most amazing thing about music is being the biggest connector in the world. Think about it, music is the universal language. It's not limited to any genre, color, culture, religion. It's, uh, it's beyond any geographical place. But, you know, um, working with so many artists gives you so many perspectives and ideas of who you're going to become as an artist yourself, how to work, about discipline. Um, I have to say I have great admiration to every single person I've worked with. Uh, from Alicia Keys, if you listen to her first single, Falling, you hear my violin at the very wow. end, uh, which is a big honor. To, um, to the very Afrobeat that I've been doing recently uh, with my partner, Yang Di, um, also from Africa. We're creating uh, new music, new genre. I'm very, very excited about that. Now, for you, getting the Grammy must have been exciting. Tell me about that. You know, growing up in Israel, in a small town, uh, northern Tel Aviv, and coming here with a dream, Winning a Grammy, I think I'm the first Israeli to win a Grammy, not in classical category, but winning a Grammy, I mean, it's like beyond any, any dream. Uh, so, so does uh, performing at the White House. Tell me um, about that, was it President Obama at the time? I, well, I was invited by Michelle Obama um, to be honored as a remarkable woman, uh, which is, it, it's wow. And, and it came with a special request to perform my song, Symphony of Brotherhood featuring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And so I found myself on the stage of the White House, looking at the pictures that everyone knows, the hallways that everyone knows, playing to the president with incredible um, group of people. Each one of them uh, was honored as a remarkable woman. And uh, I mean, words cannot describe, was really wow. 
I'm a mother, and so kids are part of my passion, part of my drive. Um, I think my first connection to the young generation was through Sesame Street, because I grew up on Sesame Street, okay. and then I was in Elmo's world, introducing the violin and telling me about the four strings, and they asked me, what is violin? <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. And then I turned into a pumpkin, because I had a magic trick. <laughs> um, so I, I think young people are, um, the most important thing when it comes to music education uh, to the next generation. And, and so I like to think about myself, uh, not only an artist or producer, but also as an educator, someone that contributes to the next generation of young people. And I do it through music. And every time I have an opportunity to get kids involved, I always bring it on. And as a matter of fact, not too long ago, I came to one of the school in, uh, in New Jersey, uh, in Englewood, and I had a chance to perform the very song that I just talked about, Symphony of Brotherhood, with a group of kids featuring Dr. Martin Luther King. And I cannot even tell you the excitement and how amazing it was to work with these string players from New Jersey, wow. young string players. You're really considered one of the first women to bring the violin into the mainstream. Tell me why that's so important, uh, not only for you, but also for our generation. So let me ask you a question. Um, have you ever tried playing the violin? I have not. You don't want to? <laughs> That's difficult. It's very difficult. You really have to start as a child. Not that I'm trying to discourage you, um, but it's one of those instruments that starts like this, and then it grows, it grows with you. And at the beginning, you can just produce like a few notes, and, um, and then you get the fingers and the dexterity, and you get your act together. It's not an easy instrument, but it's the experience is unbelievable. Kids that play violin, it helps them in school, it helps them in math, in reading, uh, overall, they're disciplined, they're, 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 it, it, it changes the cognitive in, in, in the brain, being science, scientifically approved. I believe that the violin is the closest thing to human voice. And so with that philosophy in mind, I believe that I can take this human voice of mine with the four strings and fly it everywhere. And I've been doing it my entire career. And so it's not limited to any genre. And I've performed and recorded with, with so many artists from hip hop to pop to, to EDM to Latin to Brazilian and, and now African. And there is no limit because once once the violin sits on a track or strings, and everyone needs strings, um, it does the magic. So very, very exciting. Um, the first video we shot this year was Quiet Storm. It's a true performance video uh, where I'm holding my bow and I'm spinning in the air and playing, playing hard on a hippo beat. A lot of people know me as the hippo violinist, and so I wanted to come back with something really strong, really me, just be true to myself. I'm even wearing the grills on this one. <laughs> <laughs> my second video that I came up with this year is What You're Gonna Do. It's actually my son is saying, yo, what you gonna do? And it's featuring my son, a nine years old, Dorel, and he was really great. He started very organically. Um, I was in the studio producing a song and I asked him to just come to the room and record something. And it turned out all of his friends got obsessed with the song that it's now streaming and everyone is crazy about this song. Yo, what you gonna do? <laughs> so you could have picked anywhere to live all over the world. Why New Jersey? New Jersey is just right by the water. I mean, I mean, we're right by the Hudson River. It's so beautiful. You can see the sky. You have um, um, your quiet time. Um, it's almost suburban, but it's so close to the city. So it's a win-win, no matter how you look at it. So I'm very active on social media. It's at Miri Benari, M-I-R-I-B-E-N-A-R-I. Um, Facebook, mirabenari.com. I always read what people um, write to me, and I'm always touched and, and always comment also. I try as much as I can, uh, because you are what other people think of you or how people perceive your music. So fans is everything. Thank you so much for being on our show. Good luck in all that you do. Thank you, Gary. And make sure you tune in to This Is Jersey. What She Said. We'll be back right after this.